So how do we measure team happiness? We've got some options. But why is this part of the Scrum framework? Why is this part of the 353? Um, who's, let's pick a, on a sport. You know, Trish, what's your favorite sport? Right now? Baseball. I knew that answer. That's why I could ask it, right? She happens to have a favorite shirt from a team. Anyway, so if we're thinking about baseball, there are specific rules that are followed in baseball, right? The distance from the pitcher's mound to home plate. It's the same for every team, right? But if we were to talk about the Nationals, did their playbook do something a little bit different for them this year than previously? I think we'd argue yes, right? So when we look at the framework, the really basic rules, and each organization implements them according to their own playbook. It looks a little bit different. But those basic 353 are always the same. Well, then some things have come out over the years, and they're called patterns is how they describe them. It doesn't mean that every scrum team has to do it in order to be successful. It's the 353 that's really important. But happiness is a really important pattern that most teams embrace because it has such an impact on their overall value they create, the product they deliver, the service they offer. So when we think about the happiness metric, we all said we want to be happy at work, right? We're going to create a psychologically safe space, which is a little weird given that we also are live streamed, right? How many of you, on a scale of one to five, would rate your happiness at work as a five? With a show of hands. Who would say that their happiness is at a five at work? Okay, handful of hands. On a scale of one to five, how many of you would say that you are at a four at work right now? Not bad. Three? All right. Two? One? I appreciate everybody's honesty. That's not easy to say in this space here. Now, there's your supervisor probably wasn't sitting next to you, so maybe it felt a little easier to raise your hands, right? You didn't feel pressured to answer specifically what was your happiness, right? When we get into team settings, it gets tricky. How do we get honest information about happiness so that we can take action to make it better? How many of you think you have the power to change the happiness of your team? Show of hands, do you think you actually have that power? Okay, a fair number of you already think that. That's awesome. We individually think about how we interact with our colleagues. We all do have that power to make incremental changes that could influence our personal happiness and those of our team in the workplace. Are there things that happen outside of work that could influence someone's happiness, though? Of course, right? Can we control that? No. Can we try to support them as best we can in a work environment? Yes. So, yes, there are other factors that could influence happiness. 